Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of St. Rose is being brought to you by Georgian Court University. RWJ Barnabas Arena in Toms River hosting the Shore Conference Tournament Final Four. St. Rose looking for a spot in the finals. The Purple Roses beat Randy by double digits in both regular season matchups. St. Rose came out hot from the outside. Brian Ebeling with the triple. And it's the Purple Roses out to a 19-9 lead in the first. Then the Roses work the inside game. Jaden Hodge to Matt Hodge. Start of a huge game for the junior. Jaleel Bethea came to Randy from the Patrick School, and he's making a name for himself on the shore scene. Bethea was outstanding in the semifinals. St. Rose with a 21-14 lead at the end of one. Second quarter, check out Evan Romano spinning in the lane. A beautiful finish for two. The St. Rose lead up to seven, 29-22. Bethea was feeling it on the big stage. Another three ball for the junior. He had 16 in the first half. As Randy gets within two, it's 29-27. The Purple Roses surge to end the half. Hodge, the hoop and the foul at the half. St. Rose is up six. It's 35-29. Third quarter, Gio Panzini joined Matt Hodge as a force on both ends of the floor. Panzini's got a great inside-outside game. Gio's fired up. The St. Rose lead is up to 10, 44-34. Hester scored 33 in the quarterfinals against Toms River North. The senior once again was fantastic, but St. Rose maintained a lead for all three quarters. Matt Hodge inside, it's 48-41 as we head to the fourth quarter. Panzini had a game, 18 points, 11 rebounds and three blocks, but he would foul out late in the game, which would play into the storyline. Peter Morrow gives St. Rose a 13 point lead with 156 to go. It looked like the Purple Roses were cruising to the finals, but Ranny didn't throw in the towel. Hester's playing to the final buzzer. Under a minute to go, the Panthers are down nine. Ranny wasn't done. Look at Bethea here. Throws it up and it somehow falls. Jaleel Bethea with 29 in this game, 49 seconds ago. It's now 64-57. The Panthers get to the free throw line and score with the clock not moving. Drew Buck makes it 64-61, 15.9 seconds left. Tyler Cameron makes his first free throw, but the second is off the mark. Buck with a long pass to Hester, he had 23. Hang on, 6.3 seconds left, it's now 65-63. St. Rose looking to get to the free throw line to put this game away, but it's Bethea on the steal. His shot doesn't fall, but hold on. We've got a goaltending call, count the basket. A dramatic turn of events, and Ranny is elated. We're going to slow this down, and if you look closely at Matt Hodge, he touches the rim. The officials make the call so close, but from 13 down, all of a sudden, it's 65-65, 3.4 seconds to go. St. Rose with a chance for a buzzer beater. Jaden Hodge to Matt Hodge for the win. It's off the mark. An amazing rally for Randy gives us overtime in Tom's River. We're all tied up at 65. In OT, Drew Buck joined Hester and Bethea as Randy's main scoring output. Buck had 18 points, but quickly up the other end. Matt Hodge, hoop and foul. Wow. We're tied at 69. How about Matt Hodge? 21 points, 15 rebounds, and seven assists. But Randy would take the lead on two buck free throws. Then Sean Nyar gets the turnover. Hester with the long pass to meet Sean Williams. How about the sophomore with the biggest bucket of his young career? It's 73-70 Panthers. And Buck and Williams would add four more from the charity stripe. An incredible and unlikely comeback is complete. The Randy Panthers shock the shore. Coming back from 13 down late to punch a ticket to the short conference finals. 77 to 73 is your final in overtime. The number 11 seed will face top seed Manasquan in the championship game. Coach Taj Holden was proud of his team's ability to not give up despite trailing by double digits late in the game. And our guys did a really good job not hanging their heads, especially in the fourth quarter, down 11 with like 90 seconds to go. Uh, and it was just competing and battling. We've talked about it all year. Not everything's going to go our way, but if we just keep finding the way to battle and compete, we'll be okay. 
Uh, you know, we just can't give up. Coach always tells us that, you know, matter how many, how long we're down, we just got to, we got to stay calm and we just got to keep playing defense and can't give up. And we didn't give up today and that's how we got the W. Yeah, I feel like my teammates trusted me with the, at the end of the game, get, get points, and I was open, so I shot the ball. The upset was crazy. Yeah, I honestly, yeah, it's crazy. I don't even know. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say to that. Reporting from Tom's River, I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.